This video will discuss the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of matrices. So let's assume we have some matrix O. O is going to be an n by n square matrix. So what we're going to find here is a vector alpha. Alpha is some n dimensional column vector and some scalar value omega alpha, which is some in general complex number, though frequently going to be a real number. So in the case that we have the matrix O times vector alpha, if that equals a scalar constant omega alpha times the same vector alpha, then we would say that alpha is what is called an eigenvector of matrix O, and the value omega alpha is the eigenvalue of vector alpha for that matrix O. So a given matrix O having n uh, rows and n columns is also going to have n eigenvectors, each with their own eigenvalue. So this means that we have a sum from j equals 1 to n for this uh, matrix vector multiplication. Oij times alpha j is going to equal omega i times alpha i. That'll be true for all uh, all values i for 1 through n. So each eigenvector, so each eigenvector is going to be a, a different one, so i there, and multiplying down uh, doing all elements of that multiplication. All right, so if we do the following type of manipulation, so if we do uh, matrix O times vector alpha, and then we subtract from both sides omega alpha times alpha. So this is this result here is a vector. This result here is a vector. So we can do some vector uh, subtraction on both sides. And the result of this is going to be a zero vector. So a zero vector is just some column vector where all of the elements are zero. So in general, if we want to solve for eigenvectors or eigenvalues, what we end up getting is this type of equation, which is called a secular determinant. So if we take the determinant of this type of, of this equation here, so the determinant of matrix O minus the eigenvalue omega times an identity matrix I, the which is just the, the same matrix O, but along the diagonal we're subtracting omega. The determinant of this is equal to zero whenever omega is an eigenvalue of O. So we have here, we have, yeah, O minus omega I. So all of the elements of this are just the elements of O, unless you're along the diagonal where you're subtracting the eigenvalue. Kronecker delta being 1 when i and j are equal, the diagonal, and 0 when they're not equal. So the procedure, if we have a given matrix and we want to find all of the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, would be this type of secular determinant equation. We can solve the secular determinant and find all the different eigenvalues, and then once we have the eigenvalues, we can solve later for the eigenvectors using some procedures that we're going to describe later on in this chapter.